hey what's up everyone uh welcome to another video another tutorial actually um today we're gonna create some realistic smoke i've decided to kind of revive my youtube channel because i had some great ideas um i don't really mind anymore about the old videos i just deleted them and we'll see what happens from here we're just gonna go on and create this smoke um so we're gonna start off with a new project make a new composition just copy these settings we're gonna use 1080p 30 fps and let's set the duration to like 10 seconds or something should be fine we're gonna create right click new solid because we want to create a simple background we're gonna name this background just put it black there we go we're gonna create a new layer we're gonna like call this layer smoke just make it the same doesn't really matter so what we are gonna use for smoke is fractal noise you can already see it kind of looks smoky but not realistic enough so we're gonna change that let's set this to like 250 so the scale of the thing is different we're gonna up the contrast a little bit so you can really see the difference between this we're gonna add gaussian blur there we go let's so this is like 50 or something should be fine we're gonna up this a little bit so let's set it to like 110 so these weird blurred edges are removed we're gonna add motion tile as well what motion tile basically does it copies the screen that you already have and just pastes it right and left so if you set this to 300 oh shit let's go 300 the width uh, the width is going to be like three times as big as normal so there's going to be this entire screen that we have right here is going to be copied here and also one time here so let's set this to like 700 so we're sure it's long enough so what we're going to animate right now is the let's go to fractal noise again we're going to create a keyframe key for the evolution we're going to go to the last keyframe and set this to like two or something Press zero to ramp preview. That looks fine, there we go. So what evolution does, it basically changes the fractal noise smoothly. So uh, we want that, we want the smoke to like change and get thicker and thinner. Um, so that's fixed, there we go. That looks pretty good already. Um, right now we're gonna create a, oh no wait, I've got a part. We want the smoke of course to be moving from like left to right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a keyframe here, move to the last, and drag this all the way to the right. And because so let's set it to like 3800 or something, um, and because we've added motion tile, it doesn't just end here; it copies the screen itself. So if we look closely, it looks really fluid. So let's ramp preview this. Maybe it's a little too fast, so we're gonna set this to like. 2800 that's fine that's fine so what we want right now is oh shit we're gonna create a new ellipse let's put it like here so things should be fine um i'm gonna put the anchor point in the middle i'm using this uh little plugin thingy for using the or changing the anchor point really easily uh, i'm gonna add gaussian blur to this as well this is going to be the mask so what we're gonna do is change this the track mat to luma mat that means that everything that is white on this layer is gonna be is gonna be um showing the layer beneath it but everything that is black on this layer is is not gonna be showing the layer beneath it so what we have right now is we have a, a white thing so only the white part of the layer beneath this that is set to luma mat of that layer is gonna be visible so let's align this to the middle put a little bit down there we go but of course smoke's not gonna be static like this it's gotta be a little bit smoky so we're gonna put this up like there we go let's set this to like 400 you can already see there's already nice smoke going on as you see but it's not realistic enough so we're gonna go to effects we're gonna add another fractal noise to this we're gonna make this layer visible there we go we're gonna do the same thing as here so let's set this to like 500 or something no that's too high let's set this 200 that looks fine i'm gonna add this to like 500 so it's got to be really big um there we go and we're gonna animate the evolution again so go to the last keyframe set this to two 
and we're gonna add some more Gaussian blur to the fractal noise itself so it's first we blur the shape then we add fractal noise to the thing and then we blur everything above so let's set this to like 50 or something so what we have right now is this so that means that um, some parts turn black some parts turn white so the smoke is gonna be thicker and thinner uh, divided over different parts so we're gonna turn this on turn this off there we go that already looks really good because the thickness changes but as you can see it's still a little bit too much so let's check this out we're gonna go to the fractal noise again let's set this to like 500 as well so it's gonna be really thick there we go let's up the gaussian blur a little to like 100 no, that's too much let's lower this again it's just messing around a little do what you think looks good so we're gonna put this to like 20 percent because smoke is never really white and there you go as you can see we've got some realistic going smoke and it's moving to the right as well so if it's not visible enough for you you can just put up the opacity a little and you can see there really goes some nice smoke you can really really like follow the clouds a little bit so it goes here and up there so yeah there we go that's what we've created so far we're gonna ramp preview this a little bit so you can actually see the smoke like walking through there so um, i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i hope you learned something from it um be sure to tag me in your like creations with it where you use this at verizon effects on twitter at verizon effects on instagram as well by the way and um be sure to like and subscribe and all of that stuff and i'll see you later in the next video bye everyone